All right, welcome back, everybody. Here we go. Seasons over. Champions crowned. Who won? Who lost? Who got their place? Some money. Who got fifth? And the right to draft their draft pick. Well, let's all find out. So. For everybody in the league, obviously, you did get your email already, which tells the whole story. But uh, for whatever reason, if you haven't read the email and you're just watching the video, that's awesome. Or if you're some person who's not even in our league and watching the video, uh, here's all the information and details of what happened in our league. So I'll go through, um, I guess, all four games. Not that the seventh place game matters, but I'll go through all four games. I will go through the draft order for next year. And then I will go over who's already been kept twice and cannot be kept for next year. There's only a couple players, but uh, I'll put it on the screen there. That'll show who everybody kept last year and what round they were kept in, how many times they've been kept, and so on. Um, I guess uh, that is all. The payouts have all been mailed. Not mailed, emailed. And the trophy tags are at the... The trophy store so just waiting for a phone call to have those done they say the end of this week so uh, our champion may have the trophy pretty soon so we'll have to wait and see if we can make that work so i will go through quickly uh winners and losers i'm just going to show it on the um kind of the bracket consolation bracket then the championship bracket I'm not going to go through uh, the all matchups, just kind of show you uh, who won, who lost, and where we are now. So as you can see on your screen in the 7th place game, uh, Wayne did beat me uh, by just, just under 11 points, about 11 and a half points. Um, my big mistake was I played the wrong defense. If I would have played the Jets defense instead of Oakland... I could have snuck that one out, I think, by roughly less than a point, but uh, that's okay. I will finish 8th and draft in 5th as a result. Uh, Wayne, therefore, won and finished in 7th. In our 5th place game, uh, which is for the right to choose your draft pick, so you can pick anywhere between 2nd uh, overall pick and the 12th overall pick, uh, the first uh, pick always goes to our ninth place finisher. That way uh, you can't just tank and get uh, first overall. Uh, kind of adds a little bit into it. I don't even know if everybody who finishes ninth wants the first overall pick, but uh, it was kind of a way what we did, if, I don't even know how long, a number of years ago, just to kind of curb some tanking, uh, try to keep people in it if they want. So I don't know if we want to switch it to just the first round is based on that order, and then it goes back to the regular order. I've never thought of that either, but we could look at doing something like that too. I will go through uh, the email, all the little suggestions I made of some changes, but we can add that one to it as well. Uh, so as we see here in the fifth place game, uh, Dallas snuck it out by 3.11 points over Tom. Uh, I gave him a little bit of the gears there the other day at... Uh, uh, what should I call it? Holy mackerel, my daughter's uh, hockey game. Ring game? Hockey game. Hockey game. Uh, so uh, we'll see uh, where Dallas wants to pick. He has until June, no, sorry, July the 1st. Uh, that gives everybody else kind of two months before our draft to kind of figure out where they're drafting from, get a sense of what's going on, kind of kicks off our fantasy. Um, season so uh dallas snuck that one out and then in our two championship games so the third place game was between uh the evil buddies jay and adam and richard uh the winner of this matchup would get 150 dollars uh and that third place yahoo trophy uh and yeah 150 dollars right so you get more than your money back so uh, the Buddies had a really good game, or a really good weekend. Uh, team came out strong, put up 190 points to beat Richard by roughly, what's that, 38 points. So, uh, big win for the Buddies. They get to split the 150, uh, so 75 each. And, uh, yeah, add that little Yahoo trophy. Give Richard another fourth place finish. But the one everybody wants to know, who won the trophy? Who won the money? Well, 
Ty got his got a hundred dollars back for finishing first in the regular season, uh, so he got that money back. But the question is, did he win first? Dun, 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 dun. No, he didn't. Uh, the winner goes to Winnipeg Bills Mafia, which is Dave. Dave is now won this trophy four times, so he'll have uh, whoop, one, two. Uh oh, where is he? Was it on this side? No. Oh yeah, one, two. The tag that's missing has his name on it, and the new tag that's missing will have his name on it. Um, easy way for spelling is make sure I took the right tag. So Dave will now be on here four times. Uh, fortunately for him, he didn't win his first one until 2015, but since then he's now won four of trophies. So. This will end up in Dave's house again. I'm sure his wife is thrilled, but it'll be there uh, as soon as I get the tag back and get it delivered. Uh, Dave won with that, it goes $600. Um, and uh, bragging rights for a calendar year. So um, we'll see how he does next year, see where that ends up. Uh, will he repeat again? He's the only player to ever repeat in back-to-back -back years. Uh, so we'll see if he can continue. Um, yeah, and I guess that's really it for all that stuff. Um, I feel a little lost. I'm all ready to move on to some matchups and go over next week's stuff, but, uh, football is over for fantasy. So a little disappointing, uh, for myself, but hey, can't win every year and I haven't won in like 10 of them. So, <laughs> uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, as I mentioned, um, with all that, how that finished, Dallas will get to pick his draft spot anywhere from 2 to 12. So on your screen, I'm just showing the current draft order as it sits now with Dallas's finish in fifth. Uh, so you see first pick currently belongs to Jen, and that won't change, followed then by Rob, Sunil, Jeremy, who were outside of the playoffs. And then after that would be myself, Wayne, Tom, and then that's where Dallas currently is. Then Richard, yeah, then the evil buddies, Jane Adam, Ty, and Dave at 12. So uh, depending on what um, Dallas wants to do here, uh, maybe he wants an early pick, like second or third overall. Maybe he has a first round keeper, have to go back and look uh, that he would rather keep. So maybe he'll take a late first round uh, draft spot. That way he can keep them and then get an early second round pick if that's something he wants to do. Um, but that'll be up to him. Uh, like I said, he is until July the 1st to let me know. And then um, for our keepers, as you'll see on your screen here, uh, here is the list of players that were kept from uh, 2022 to our 2023 season. Uh, based on our draft order, the round, the player, uh, you can see that Jen has now kept T. Higgins twice, so he is thrown back into the draft pool for next year. You will also see that Richard has now kept Christian McCaffrey twice, which means he is also thrown back in the draft pool, which means maybe Jen takes Christian McCaffrey with the first overall pick. Uh, I guess we'll see how that plays out. Uh, next down the list there is Dallas, who's kept Stefan Diggs now twice, so he can no longer keep him. So he's also back in the draft pool. And the only other player that had been kept twice uh, was Ty had kept Jamar Chase twice, but he had traded him before the end of the season. So that doesn't change anything there. So uh, I will post these on our site in uh, the new year once, on the new year, sorry. Later in the year, when Yahoo refreshes uh, the fantasy football stuff, usually around Memorial Day weekend, they have that up and running. Um, I think it's Memorial Day, usually May sometime. And then, uh, yeah, so you can see now that T. Higgins, Christian McCaffrey, and Stefan Diggs are the only two players uh, that people cannot keep for next year, as Jamar Chase was traded during the year. So... You can also see there's some decent keepers there. Uh, Garrett Wilson is 11th round. If Ty wants to keep him as part of that trade, um, Kelsey's a second rounder. Justin Jefferson's a first rounder there for Ty. So that's somebody he probably keeps at the end of the 
the first round there. I like Jeremy having Olave in sevens, a decent one. Um, who was I looking at earlier? Oh, uh, Dave, his keeper is potentially Pollard and Hurts. I don't know. I don't know what Pollard's going to be next year. Hurts, uh, quarterbacks are tough. You know, you have some good games, bad games, but is it better to just keep somebody else? We'll see. And uh, Rob with Amon, Amon Ross St. Brown, who could be a first, late first, early second uh, draft pick next year. Uh, it's got a third round keeper tag there. So I think that's a pretty snazzy uh, keep there if he chooses to keep him again. Other than that, like Kelsey in two, uh, who knows? Uh, what will happen there? Um, Tom with Mahomes and Jacobs. I don't know if he'll keep any of those two guys again. Maybe Mahomes. Um, I don't think Sunil will keep Eckler. He's kind of fallen off this year with injuries. Excuse me. I definitely won't be keeping Calvin Ridley unless... I believe he's a free agent. So unless he goes to like a top Super Bowl team like the Chiefs or something, maybe I would keep him in the 18th round. But as of right now, that's not what I'm thinking. But it's early. Super Bowl hasn't even played. Free agency hasn't started. The draft hasn't started. So uh, people will make their decisions by usually, what's that? Just before the last weekend of August, because we always do the draft before September long. So lots of time. That's a good, you know, eight months or I guess seven and a half months until we have the keepers to, to determine. Uh, anything else there? I don't think so from the players kept list. So just to go through kind of the email I sent. Um, some things that were, you know, tossing around ideas, you know, maybe what some changes we'd like to do. Uh, I throw these out every other year. No one ever comments. No one ever says anything. Uh, we don't have a group chat other than the app, so no one throws anything out there. So I don't like just changing the league without any sort of discussion. I don't feel that's fair. While I am the commissioner, I feel this is all our, all of our leagues. Uh, while this may be my main league, um, you know, to other guys, this might be their second, third, fourth league that they play in. Uh, might not be as important, but uh, I still don't think it's fair to just change the rules just because I think the rules should be changed. So I know I did that with kickers and defense the one year, but I put it back because there was some talk about maybe having defense again. Kickers are hard, but I figure at least changing it to the yardage for kickers at least kind of has made it a little better. So that if you do get a game uh, with a bunch of field goals, at least you can get more points than um, just a standard three, four, five uh, that you would get. I know it doesn't really help if it's all converts instead of uh, field goals for kickers, but that's just the randomness of football. It's no different than a game plan of a running back who is schemed not really to run, right? Like they'll throw to the secondary back because it's more efficient or the team's defense uh, is you know, weak against the pass or weak against tight end. So running backs don't get a lot of play. So it's kind of hard to just, for me, the idea of getting rid of both as a whole. I mean, it was fun for the one year. Um, but yeah, just some thoughts. Um, yeah, so some of the ideas I brought up were obviously switched to a half point PPR. Uh, as we see, the NFL is definitely becoming a passing league. Um, so I don't know if that can kind of help receivers balance more with the running backs a little bit better. Um, those running backs who do get the catches kind of levels them out so they're not so uh, efficient in terms of a PPR standings. Uh, I'm sure all of us play in at least one league that's half point PPR, so you know what it does. Um, when I really like, I take... Um, Sorry, I take part in the Fantasy Footballers podcast. I take part in what they call their um, Megala Bowl. So it's like 15,000 people in it. You're kind of grouped into your own little uh, pools. And then based on your points for, you make the playoffs. And then it goes on from there. Uh, but one rule they have is 0 0.1 points per carry. And I kind of like that. Now, you might think, oh, what's that going to do to running backs? Well, think about that. If you have a bell cow running back who gets between 20 to 30 carries a game, that's only two to three extra points. Um, for most running backs, you know, that may be at most two points. Uh, a lot of split running back tandems nowadays, it kind of gives that bell cow running back a few extra points. 
again, kind of pushes the uh, the running backs up with receivers being really heavily uh, targeted nowadays in our in the NFL being a passing league. So there's some different ideas there I like. Uh, the other one would be obviously not for next season because that's not fair, but for maybe the 2025 season, uh, you know, the last six on the trophy or something, we could switch to one keeper if that's something people are interested in. We could go to no keepers and just have it a redraft league every year. Um, I'd love to do a dynasty league, start up dynasty league at some point. Um, if people are interested, um, you know, fill this trophy, then start a new dynasty league. I mean, hey, I had a trophy going for 17 years. We're all here. Maybe a dynasty could have worked somewhere along the way. Um, but who knows? Maybe that's not for everybody. Uh, as I mentioned, there's the ideas of removing kickers and defense. Um, again, it's up to everybody. Um, they're both parts of the game of football, which is why I put them back in. Uh, it's not just about offense. Uh, there's special teams. I do love uh, IDP football or fantasy football. Uh, it's a little bit more because then obviously you have to learn both sides of the ball. Who's there? Who's the taco guys? Who's interceptions? Uh, all that stuff too. So I would never put that on this league. Uh, maybe if that was a different league that somebody wanted to do, I'd be up for something like that. Uh, I know one that uh, Dave has brought up a couple of times is potentially switching to a super flex league, which is basically a two quarterback league. I'm already in another one of those. I do like it. I mean, I drafted uh, early, um, sorry, players and took a quarterback late uh, because everybody went heavy quarterback this year. I ended up with Jefferson and McCaffrey as my top two picks because everyone went heavy quarterback. Uh, but then I ended up with Dak and Purdy as my uh, as my quarterbacks, which was amazing. It carried me all the way to lose in the finals. Um, I mean, it didn't help when Kamara didn't finish the game, McCaffrey didn't finish the game, uh, Jefferson didn't get much playing time in the fourth quarter because Green Bay held onto the ball, Rashad White had a bad game, and I lost by five. So it's, hey, and I lost to Dave. So two-time champ this year, but hey, it's football. It's exciting. I liked it, but I don't know if that's something I'd like to add to this league because I already have a different league like that or I don't know what everybody else has. But if it's something you guys want to do, hey, maybe it's something we look at. Um, and I think that's about it. I don't really have a whole lot else to add. Uh, another great season. It was close. Um, I barely made the playoffs and then lost all my game. So that's quite fitting. Uh, all of those Seven guys who are above, who were tooth and nail, and positioning came down to the last week. Um, it worked out kind of neat. Our third place guy won. First in the regular season got second. The guy who finished second in a regular season lost the fifth place game. So anything can happen, which is why we all love playing fantasy football. Why all that matters is getting to the playoffs. And you never know what can happen. So... Uh, hope you all have a great 2024. I'll start setting these videos out, eh, I don't know, sporadically. I'll throw one on the YouTube there. Maybe put the link on the chat on the app just to kind of put people's thoughts on. Maybe after the Super Bowl, I'll throw something in there. Or maybe after the draft, once we kind of see, you know, what do the Vikings do? Do they get rid of Cousins? Do they draft a quarterback? How will that affect Justin Jefferson and Addison? Or does Atlanta trade for Kirk Cousins and now you got somebody like Drake London and B. John Robinson who have a better quarterback? So uh, I'll see how it goes play by year. Uh, I kind of figure out what the offseason will look like for these videos. I do like doing the early keeper selections, who I think people will keep based on their roster. Um, yeah, and then if anybody reaches out in the meantime with some different rule changes, things they'd like to see, things they would like to... Uh, maybe change about our league. Maybe you do something in your league that you're like, Mike, let's do this in your league. It's fantastic. Well, reach out to me. Let me know. We can put it to the group. So um, enjoy the playoffs for the NFL. Cheer for whoever you need to to win the Super Bowl. Um, my wife's cousin's husband has been a huge Michigan fan his whole life. His dad played for Michigan back in the day and they won a national championship yesterday. So it was fun going back with him and just the emotions the last two weeks after beating Alabama and now this. So football is amazing. The emotions, the closeness, the games, the camaraderie, um, just being a fan of how 
you know, it brings us all together. 12 people who some of us know each other, some of us don't. Yeah, we all watch football to get you know, not together, but watch football for a common purpose, right? So it's pretty cool. So enjoy your winter. Hopefully come summer, uh, we can get some things here hammered out and figured out for the new year. So enjoy. Talk to you later and uh, have fun. Bye.